in earning the leadership positions that they are being awarded with today. I would also like to thank each of them in allowing me to be a part of this auspicious occasion. I've been invited back here today to share with you some of the wonderful memories that I enjoyed throughout my schooling years, and more importantly, share with you how those memories and this school helped to shape or helped to prepare me for the real world. For me, Browns Plains High was much more than simply a school. It became almost like a second family, a community within which I was not only taught how to solve math problems or interpret Shakespeare, the latter of which I still haven't quite grasped, but also learned to understand and fully appreciate a number of social and moral values. One of the first of these values that became apparent to me at high school was that of responsibility. Responsibility for yourself, your actions, and the consequences of these actions. I'll never forget the day I became a senior and the words that a young teacher by the name of Mr. Nathan Moore spoke to our cohort. It is you who the rest of the school now look up to, he said, and it is your responsibility to show that you deserve that admiration. Now honestly, at the time, I can't say that I truly understood the importance of such a responsibility, as I'm sure many of my fellow students didn't. But looking back on it now, I realize that the, our accepting that responsibility was in fact one of the many steps towards becoming a mature young adult. In, it was a measure of inner strength, a true sign of courage. Attributes that this school had helped to develop and that would aid us in our journeys after school. Another value that is held in high state at Browns Plains High is dedication. No matter what you choose to take part in at this school, there is always a strong sense of support. The teachers of Browns Plains are always there to provide encouragement and constantly stress the importance of a never say die attitude. I recall a quote that I once heard. I would rather be called a failure than a loser. Losers give up when things become too difficult. Failures, on the other hand, have just not yet found success, but soon will. I have found since leaving school that not everything will work out the way you imagined, and that at times you will not be able to achieve the goals that you are striving for. But it's because of this school and the experiences I shared within its walls that I've found myself prepared for such times and been able to move forward despite them. The last values that I wish to speak of today are diligence and integrity. Not only the school motto, but, the, but more importantly, the manner by which its members strive to conduct, its, conduct themselves. My very first day here, I remember hearing those words, diligence and integrity, and thinking to myself, yeah, I have no idea what they mean. But luckily for me, however, the teachers were more than willing to explain them to me. And in the years that followed, including those I've spent outside of school, I would like to think that I've tried to uphold them as best I could. Now I understand that these are only my experiences and that each of you students will go through your own individual journeys, both throughout school and after. As such, I can't promise that life will be easy or that you won't have times when you feel like giving up. But what I can promise is that when you leave Browns Plains State High School at the end of year 12, you will have the skills needed to achieve your goals. All you need to do is find the courage within yourself to follow your dreams. So again, congratulations to those of you who are the new school leaders and remember to make this year count. Thank you.